If you are using Articulate, you probably are familiar with the accordion text in RISE. It is a fantastic feature for delivering large chunks of text. Here we are going to create it in Storyline. This is the cool feature I am talking about. You can click on each of the titles, and it expands. The next click will shrink it. And here is how I did it. Create a new project in Storyline. Open the Insert ribbon, and from the Shapes menu, select Rectangle. Make this rectangle a bit smaller than the slide's width. In the Format menu, change the fill color to white, and the border to light gray. Then type your title in the rectangle and change the formatting as you like. I want it to be bold and left aligned. On the right side, we need a plus sign, which we can type into a new text box. Adjust size and position, and it's done. The next step is to copy and paste these two items. Draw a selection box around them and copy them. Then you can paste and move them as many times as you need. I am going to create three titles. So, two more copies are enough. We need a separate layer for each block of text. Go ahead and create three more layers. Then go back to the base layer. Set the trigger for the first rectangle to show the first layer and the same for two others to show the second and third layers. Before we continue, we will change the text in the two last rectangles to text title 2 and 3. Then select everything, copy them, and paste them into all other layers. This way, they have the triggers in them. Go back to layer 1. Select two last boxes and move them down so we have enough space to insert our text in the first box. Now select the first box, increase its height, and type or paste your text. Then adjust your text formatting to fit in the box. In most cases, the title will be misplaced when you add text. Check with the base layer and fix this using a horizontal guide. Now move the other two boxes up and stick them to the first box. Then you need to change the trigger for the first box to hide the current layer. Do the same for other layers. The last step is changing the plus sign to minus in the expanded boxes. And we are done. This is how it looks in the preview. 